Dorman, well, hasn't he just excelled? Got out the maidens last time out, and he remembered exactly where that winner's box was. Even though up in class here, he had the lightweight, he had you on, and he streaked home to victory. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, the race didn't really go the plan I wanted it to, but, you know, I left him alone at the back. The, the, the track does seem to be very quick today, but, you know, I left him alone. I let him find his feet, and, you know, slowly, one by one, he was picking them off. And coming through the 300, I knew I was in with a very big chance. And when I popped the question and asked him, he really tried his hardest, and he won a very gutsy race today. Chatting off air, just saying, there's not much of him, but he's full of attitude. Even when you went took him into the winner's box, he, he wasn't, wasn't ready to stand still yet. Yeah, shame. He's, he's a little boy. He's, he's a bit feisty, you know. That was the first thing I was told. Yeah. Careful, he's got hot back legs. They can catch you if you're not careful. But, you know, luckily it's nice to have a nice feisty fighter. Yeah. He really did dig down nicely to the line. And, you know, he's done well to beat a nice field today. And I must say, the horse care unit's going to be very excited to see you in the winner's box. You're one of the jockeys that has risen to the challenge of helping to raise money for them. I've got to commend you for that, as well as Dark Horse Thoroughbreds, who are uh, going to meet both you and uh, jockey Craig Zaki. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, you know, it's a, it's a great initiative because, yeah. you know, these animals, without them, I wouldn't be earning a living. And you have to put back to the old racehorses that have run there guts out of the track yeah. and you know it's it's a great like i said it's a great initiative and i'm very happy to help well i do commend you for that well done and great win thank you very much you know once again i have to say a big thanks to mr and mrs sham for their support yeah. i really appreciate it my last few winners here have been for them i also have to say a big thanks to mr and mrs stonebridge and dale you know also they've been supporting me for a long time and i really appreciate it also to uh, rocky and montana for the hard work back at the yard thank you very much to them yes Fantastic. and now obviously having just chatted to ryan about the horse care unit you are an ardent supporter you are always out there doing your best for them a lot of the jockeys have come to the party as well as people that have backed them and um, you've got to tell us how the evening went well the evening was absolutely fantastic so again a massive massive huge thanks to to everybody that supported there um, at our little sweepstakes items that we auctioned um, there were some that actually I wanted to keep myself but uh, yeah the the unit is what comes first yeah. and um, uh, today's times are hard for, for everybody in any industry, in any life. But yeah. um, this is what we've chosen because this, the horses, have, as Ryan said to, about the jockeys, horses have given us our livelihood, whether yeah. it's through transport, through training, through selling show jumpers earlier. We wouldn't be where we are without horses. So um, they have my eternal thanks, and this is the only way I can repay them. Well, very well done. You're doing a fantastic job, and I hear a lot of money was raised, so very, very well done. It was, and it will be very, very well spent. Thank you. Fantastic.